Hi YouTube, this is the President Michael back with an autograph mail day video. I have two things to show you. One TTM, one purchase. First I'll show you the TTM. This is from Jackson DeVille. He is the mascot for the Jacksonville Jaguars. He sent me a cool photo. Signed to Michael. Go Jags. And he signed the name. And it was dated 9-5-17. And I know someone's going to say, oh, that couldn't sign by anybody because it's not a real person. True. But I think it's still cool having him. And I thought for years, uh, starting a nice big collection of mascots. I've met a few. met the one for the Buffalo Bills, the Cleveland Indians. I met Birdzerk. I met San Diego Chicken. I met um, um, some minor league ones, too. And here's the back. Gives some information about the character. Pretty cool. Next one, you know, I wish I would have bought this years ago. It was cheaper. And there was more um, examples of it. It's one of those Stargate sign cards. But I did. And now I had to pay more and there's not as many of them around. I think that's why the prices are going up on some of these Stargate cards because you don't see as many. I actually had to buy this from a seller in Canada. So the, the shipping was definitely more money than I normally like to pay, especially for one card. Actually, I saw some of these from a seller in the UK. I might buy from him because his shipping, if I read it right, was actually cheaper than the Canadian shipping. But this is cool. I've been wanting this, this man's autograph forever. And he was in a great movie. See if you can guess it by just looking at him. See if I can. You know who that is? That is Samuel J. Jones, who played Flash Gordon in Flash Gordon. Cool movie, and I haven't seen that in years. You know what? I have to get that DVD. I love that movie. It was a great movie. Had an awesome amount of great actors, especially my favorite, uh, James Bond, if I remember correctly. Uh, Timothy Dalton was in it, and I would love his autograph. But his autograph is, is kind of rare and expensive. I saw one... I don't know, five or six months ago, but it was like two hundred dollars. And no, 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 no. That's definitely expensive. That's more than I paid for any president autograph. But I'm hopeful one day. One day I'll get it. Congratulations! This limited edition card has been personally signed by Sam J. Jones as Eris Bach. This is, I think, um, well, it gives the years for when the television series was made, 1997-2005. I think these came out around 2005, but I'm not 100% sure. Here it is. Look at that. Let me pull it out. Oh, yes. This is epically awesome. And I love this set. So cool looking. I have my eye on a few more of these. At one time when I started buying it, I was only going to buy people I know and that I like. But for this set, I think I'm going to make an exception and try to get all of them. The problem is, the main characters, that's going to be hard. Not hard finding them as much, hard affording them, like the Richard D. Anderson one. You know, we're talking $150 to $250 for his. That's a lot of money. And I'm not paying that, so I don't know if I'll ever get this whole set. No, if I win the lottery and become a multi, 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 multi millionaire, maybe I will. Some of the other ones are really expensive too, like the Amanda Tapping one, and um, what the Michael Shanks, but they're not as bad as Anderson. So I'm not even sure how many cars are in this set. I do have my eye on probably around ten or so that I want to buy now. I won't buy all ten because that would be quite a bit. But well, you're definitely going to be seeing a few more of these on this channel pretty darn soon. I finally got it. Sam Jones, Flash Gordon. Pretty cool. Yeah, right there. Okay. That is it. Um, not much more. Uh, I got through the hurricane pretty well. Some damage. Uh, mostly to my, like, my banana trees. And I had this awning... I was connected to this shit out back. Pretty much got shredded. Didn't lose power. The lights flickered on and off several times. But that was, did cause some damage. 
it toasted my fridge. The light turns on the fridge, but it doesn't cool down anymore. So my damage the compressor or something. Very much now I'm going to get that fixed. I'm going to have to buy a new one. Of course, you know, fridges aren't the cheapest uh, things in the world, so that's mainly the main thing. A um, whole bunch of debris was around the house. Some of that, um, what is it called, old man beard or something like that that grows on the trees, leaves and sticks. Some bigger um, branches, but nothing too massive, which was lucky. Um, but I know a lot of people had a good chunks of trees in their yard, and some had whole trees that came down. I did a whole bunch of filming on the damage throughout the area. I put it on my other channel. I did like 17 videos. I'm actually going to upload one very soon, which will make it 18. I had to do, and you might be interested in some of this because you collect autographs that watches this. But the winter home of the Detroit Tigers was damaged. The hotel that they stay at during the winter or and or spring training. That just got, um, especially the front. I did film that. I haven't uploaded it yet. But I should be uploading that before this video. So, um, today's Tuesday. Yeah, it's Tuesday because it's a little after 2.30 in the morning. 2.32 to be exact. So I'll have that video up first. And then this, um, if you're interested in, like, baseball or autographs, you might want to check that out if you're even interested in that. I know that everyone who watches this channel collects baseball autographs. A lot of people are like me, collect different areas. Of course, I'm primarily um, Hollywood-related ones, baseball, and political. But I do collect in a lot of other smaller groups as well. That is it. Oh, one thing I have to do, and I feel like an idiot, because it's been a year, I think. Last September, I filmed a video asking if anyone had any questions. They asked me, and I never filmed a response. I did get a few questions. I'm going to do that. I'm going to film a response video soon to that to the questions that are posted. Not too many questions. Unfortunately, I was hoping for a lot more, but I'll definitely um, film a response video and probably um, do another video asking if anyone had any other questions. Then I'm really behind on um, watching videos. So you haven't been seeing me around. You know, I explained before a lot's going on. But I'm going to try to catch up see as many as um, the one to subscribe to as possible. But I appreciate many people sticking with me because I haven't been making as much videos this past year or two. There's a lot going on. And I want to and I just have been such a procrastinator on it. I need to film some sub videos promoting other autograph channels. Uh, I did some of them a long long time ago. I haven't done it in any a while. But I want to definitely uh, mention some of my favorite channels. You know Caleb Cards and Henry S. They're two of the ones I really like. I know, but um, I know both of you will probably watch this. I'm definitely going to film a sub video for you mentioning your channel. But I'll do it in separate videos to get as much attention as possible. Of course, I don't have a huge channel. I have This channel is only 199. It was 200. Unfortunately, I lost a subscriber, so I dropped back down into the 100 something. Hopefully, I can get it back up to at least two. I thought that was pretty cool that this channel was at 200. But I'll do some sub videos soon. Um, May do some pack break videos. I have actually some card packs left. That I got the Dollar Tree, 32 um, card ones that I got probably over a year ago. I haven't opened them. I meant to do a video on that. I did get some interest in that, so I might do that again. But once I do those, if I do those on camera, that'll be it. I have not seen those cards at the Dollar Tree in a long time. Most I went to like three or four of them. They just didn't have them. A couple people told me they. The company that made them ran, finally ran out of stock of it. Just don't have any more of the cards, which is possible. I know during the 80s and early 90s, they literally printed billions and billions and billions of cards. So eventually, they were going to run out. Which is sad, because I thought it was pretty cool to pick them up and see the vintage stuff. I always thought the 1980 cards were the best, in my opinion. They're my favorite. Very much more simpler design now. Cards now, they're a, a lot of them are glossy. They're a pain to get signed. They're so shiny and stuff. Don't get me wrong, they're cool looking, but sometimes with baseball cards, I think the simpler, the better, in my opinion. What do you think? Do you think that if the cards are simpler, that they just look better or easier to get signed? I, that's what I think. Let me know what you think. I don't really like that a lot of them is glossy. I know it's cool looking, but I don't like it. When I order any photos, say, for example, sent out to get signed, I always get the matte finish instead of the glossy. Glossy looks nice. But it has a tendency to smear, and the, the Sharpie doesn't ha has a tendency not to always adhere to it. And I don't want to deal with that stuff. That's why I always liked it matte. 
Fortunately, a lot of baseball cards today are not don't have a matte finish. Some do, but not a lot of them. Um, that is it. Uh, if you get a chance, please check out my other channel, The Presidential Tourist. Um, I think I have 770 now for subscribers. I had 772 the other day. I lost a few, but that that happens. But I really would like to get to possibly a thousand subs by the end of the year. So if you don't mind checking out, maybe subscribing, and just um, check my channel out. Maybe you might like it. Uh, no pressure if you don't want to sub or anything like that, but at least uh, just give it a look at look and see and tell me what you think then. And if you like it, sub. And if you don't, then don't sub. That's fine. Because I know we all have um, a precious amount of um, time to do things on this earth, so I don't want you to waste it on something you don't want to waste it on. Okay, uh, yep, it's just the two things. Okay, if, again, if you have any comments or questions, please put them below. I'm always happy to answer your questions. I look forward to talking to you again soon, YouTube. Bye, everybody. Bye.